So we're at Garden Rosalyn right now, and it's the, the newest tulip farm in Skagit Valley. And it seems like we're a little bit early. The website predicted that peak blooms would be between April 7th and April 14th this year. So today is April 7th. It's one of the only sunny days for the next few weeks. So we thought this would be ideal time to come. And it seems like we're a little bit early for the blooms. So if you haven't gone yet, you still have an opportunity to come see them in their peak time. The thing I read about this garden what I thought was that it was supposed to have lots of geometric shapes and patterns and patterns of animals. Um, so with everything non-bloom yet, it's a little bit hard to see if there's supposed to be animal patterns. We think we might have seen a bird somewhere else, and this looks like it's meant to be something. But I don't know what. <laughs> Do you have any guesses? With some of the things, it's easy to tell what it is, even though it's not bloomed, but with other sections, with so many of the flowers unbloomed, you just don't have differentiation, so it's really hard to tell what is what. Looks like an E-E-U-U. impressive as Ro Rosen Garden where we went last year. Um, it's a lot more spread out and it doesn't seem like there's as much variety. Um, it was about $12 a person which feels a little high for what this is. I also read that there was going to be food trucks here and it is 11:30. It is Thursday, so maybe they only have food trucks on the weekends, but there are no food trucks here, which is very disappointing because I was looking forward to getting lunch and just sitting and enjoying the gardens here. But there there just isn't that much, and hopefully in future years they'll be able to add more tulips and more designs. And I think things would definitely be better if, it, if everything was in bloom. It would be a lot more beautiful to look at, but not everything's in bloom and there's just not that much of it. Um, we ditched the other places. but also just more exciting, better patterns. It's a lot more full and uh, things are closer together. Yeah, there's still, it's still a little early. Not all the flowers are in bloom, but there's still quite a few that are in bloom right now and a lot that are gonna be blooming soon. Mm-hmm, a lot more vibrant though, very fun. Yeah. One thing I really love is that they have the names of the kind of tulips or different varieties usually somewhere close by so you know exactly what kinds are your favorites. Amazing. It feels very special here. Seems like the place to be to take a photo. We may have to come back. <laughs>
ones with the ruffled edges. It's not ruffled. Serrated almost. Very scandalous. <laughs> Those ones are Um, it's pretty dusty and it can be muddy if it's rainy, so I definitely recommend closed toed shoes. And it is a little bit of a walk out here. It's gonna be like five minutes, but it's a solid walk. Two of police. We got one out of order. <laughs> Found another imposter. Overall, this place is beautiful. It has so many different varieties of tulips, which is incredible. The colors, the vibrancy, it's so beautiful. And the way they have things displayed just keeps you so interested, keeps you so entertained. Um, just right up front. Plus, there's a flower field out in the back, which is so fun to visit. And if it's muddy, it's a great time for the kids, too. Oh, wow. I rate this place a 10 out of 10, and I would give Rosalind Gardens like a 1 out of 10. Oh, no. <laughs> I feel bad. Oh, it, no. It just... The wow factor wasn't there. I just didn't feel like it was worth it. It was a lot less crowded, so if you, if you need to see tulips and you don't want to fight the crowds, maybe that's the place for you. Do you think we'll come again? I don't know if they planted these guys or if they just got lucky that they and found a good spot in the tree. But there's some tulips in this tree. Make sure to check if they're blooming because they're so pretty to just see up in the tree. What do you say? <laughs> Rusingard. How? Rusingard. One more time. <laughs> Rusingard. Again. We have not known how to say it. I pronounce it differently every time. I just I think heard you're it. you're very consistent every Rusingard. time. Rusingard. Rusingard.